Hello, and welcome to Top Warren's Quick Grok video. Today we will talk about creating a taxonomy in Tabraid Edge. I am now at the Tabraid Edge uh, homepage, and um, you see various options here. If I wanted to create a taxonomy, I could uh, click on the tax taxonomies in the left-hand side navigator. I see the taxonomies that are already available to me. I could click on create new right here. Alternatively, I could click on this plus sign and you see a number of options that, uh, that I have here. In your system, you may have less options depending on, on your licensing. Taxonomy is one of the options, so I click on create a new taxonomy and let me call it locations taxonomy. There are a few choices for me to make here that are currently set to default and they have to do with how I want identifiers or URIs for the new resources to be constructed. Um, I could also provide description. I could also decide that my taxonomy should be indexed in uh, edge by search index, but for now I'm just going to take defaults and click on create and I'm done here. So at this point, I could use a number of connectors and importers that we have available to load the content in my taxonomy. Or I could just start uh, typing uh, and arranging concepts in the taxonomy manually, which is what I'm going to do in this video. So let me click on the taxonomy link. And what you see is essentially is an empty container. Um, there is uh, nothing available here. I've got uh, an empty tree. And I'd like to uh, take a moment to um, talk to you about SCAS, which is uh, a W3C standard for describing taxonomy centisori. It's a machine processable model that um, defines how concepts should be described and organized uh, into hierarchical trees, um, defines various information about concepts, and this is what taxonomies in Tabred Edge are based in. So SCAS is uh, built in. Uh, Viscas at the top of the taxonomy tree, there is something called concept scheme, and then all concepts are hierarchical children of that scheme. So let me create uh, a new concept scheme. Since we're going to be talking about locations, I'm going to call it world. I'm say okay. And now I could start building up uh, new concepts. I could um, use the right click uh, menu and create so, so called top concepts of world. So, for example, United States. Uh, note how uh, Tabred Edge builds URIs or identifiers for each, each concept. I could enter a description for a new concept or I could just uh, click it like this. Uh, Another option, if I select world, I could create new concept from here, so Europe. And I am building up my uh, tree. I could also create multiple concepts at once. So, for example, New York, which is a state I live in, North Carolina. Uh, which is where we have our offices, New Jersey, a neighboring state to New York, and let's say California, just because I can. We've got now four children under the United States. And I could keep building up uh, my tree like this. So here, when I click on one of those concepts, you see um, quite a number of different fields or properties. Uh, quite a bit of richness. That all comes from SCAS. These are predefined things. You see that I could create preferred alternative labels. They are broader and narrow relationships that have been built up because of how I've created uh, the concepts, etc. And um, I can, for example, um, use drag and drop to say that New Jersey is a related concept to New York. 
So drag and drop works in the tree itself for me to re rearrange it. And it also works between the tree and this form panel. If I don't want to see all those um, empty fields, I could clean up the form only to those fields that are currently uh, populated. And I can uh, keep building up the tree. So for example, um, we do uh, a few uh, sub concepts for uh, New York, let's say planes. And let's say CT. I could move the concepts in the tree just I was uh, through drag and drop, just like I was able to move them from uh, a tree to a form to build up relationships. So if I wanted to put, let's say, New York City directly under the United States, I could do that. Um, also, taxonomy is interbred edge, uh, poly hierarchy. So if I wanted New York City to have uh, two parents, United States, and New York, I could do that as well. And save changes, and now it appears in into places. So that's uh, a quick introduction to um, taxonomies in Tabred Edge. You could see how it quickly it is to create them. There is a very capable um, editor directly in. Um, in a browser with all the richness of the thick uh, client. And there is many additional operations that you could uh, explore. Uh, for example, you could uh, clone concepts, you could clone the entire trees, you could merge concepts, you could work with search. Uh, I invite you to take a look at some of our additional videos that explore uh, these topics. And thank you for watching.